Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody wants to print a six foot by four foot item of a picture, I'm guessing, but they want it, they're calling it, uh, if we go to uh, custom, they're calling it A4. I don't know what A4 stands for, uh, but it comes up in millimeters and we turn this into inches. It's an oddball inches. So they can figure that part out. What I'm going to do is show them how to just kind of, this is called tiling. And we're going to figure this out. So this is, um, I'm going to say three across. So we're going to get out a calculator that's 48 inches divided by three. We're at 16 inches. Well, you know what? Let's do it four. So that'd be 12, 12 inches, which would be closer to theirs. So let's make a rectangle. And with our ratio on lot, we're going to make this 12. And then, um, well, let's just make it 12 by 12. So let's put this one up in this corner. And let's change our duplicate distance to 12. And let's make a copy of that or control D, control D, control D. Now, matter of fact, I'm going to, well, I'm going to make this black, this outer box. Now I'm going to grab these and I'm going to control D. So I'm not 12. I didn't make it 12 inches. So let me start over. Remember I had my ratio on a lot. So we're going to make it 12 by 12. But then we need to put it up to the top right corner. Our nudge back is set on 12 still. So control D. And you can do this with graph paper or table tool. But this to me, I think is just as easy especially when you're working with a weird side. So we have all these squares and I'm going to move this one out of the way because I'm going to get rid of my box. And then I'm going to put this one back. I am going, in case I grouped them together, I'm going to go to object and group. It. I'm going to, well, they're, they're individual. So I'm going to group them together. Now, somebody mentioned that's trying to help them to put and, and power clip this. Power clip is pretty good, but I don't like it sometimes. We go to object power clip, place it inside frame, and it puts it in there, and then you can go and break it apart. And the reason I don't like it, I've heard stories that it doesn't work all the time, it's bleeding. So I believe in uh, intersect tool. We're going to select all these, and we're going to go EC, and that put it in the center. Now, for this to work, you want the red squares visible. And then we're going to select it all and we're going to go intersect. And what that did, it intersected it. Now we can actually move this out of the way. We can go right here and go up to object, group and ungroup. And now we have individual squares. Now what I do like about intersect is that my picture is still there. But now you can see the lines that you're going to print one. So if this was the size paper you wanted to print on, you print that one first, that one second, that one third, that one fourth, that one fifth. Now you are going to have, you know, depending on how you're going to affix them or, or put them together, there's actually a way in tiling to do some overlapping where you won't, you know, you could, this is still going to be the best way, I think, because the, the lines won't be there because you're going to butt them up to each other you know, I don't know what he's printing them on. You know, if he's printing it out on just paper or cart, you know, or poster board or tile. Uh, but that's a pretty cool way to do it. I like that much more than power clip. You know, power clip works. You know, we can grab this object, power clip, place inside frame, and it does it a good job. And then you can go edit it and change it around. <clears throat> It's a little bit harder sometimes to break it apart. And like, I haven't done it so long, I don't remember how, but I guess you just ungroup it. And so it, it does have, and now it's still got the cut lines because they're not broken apart. I wonder if we can go up to object order or group it. Nope. See, so it's going to have cut lines. So what you'd want to do in that case, because you don't want the red lines, you could select it all and put no outline, and they're still broken apart. 
So either way works. Um, the only reason I like the other way, the intersect tool, because the picture is still there. And you could do it again if you want to, you know, change your mind or, you know, because realistically, you'd want to crop out this girl, I would think, where her head was maybe totally in one picture. So you could, you know, you could play with that. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense and thank you for watching.